Hi, sorry for my absence from YouTube. Um, I've been busy with work, and as you can see, it's very hot over here in Egypt. But anyway, um, I thought it was time to finish another installment of my organic chemistry series. So this is the third installment. And I thought it'd be fun today to talk about uh, Newman projections and uh, Cherenboat uh, confirmations and cyclic structures. So let's go to the marker board. And we will start. Alright, so this is organic video 3. Alright, we'll start off with a simple non cyclic structure. We'll do ethane. Now, the Newman projection of ethane uh, is going to look something like this. You're going to have the ellipse version. where the rotation of all six hydrogen are together. So that if I look at it straight on, it looks like I'm only looking at three. But in reality, the other three are behind that three, if, if you see what I mean. But um, this is actually the least stable of the two. This is the trans, or the staggered. So this hydrogen, um, this one, this one, and this one are behind the plane of this one, this one, and this one. Because this one requires the highest energy and repulsive state of the electrons between the six carbon hydrogen atoms, and this one requires less repulsion. So you find ethane is in a constant state of going between these staggered and ellipse formations. But if you look at it on a graph, it kind of looks like this with the energy states. So you're going to have these two peaks down here where it's in the lowest energy, and that would be the staggered formation. And you're going to have these high peaks here where it's in the ellipse formation. So if you have a high, high, high number of ethane molecules together, you're going to have like two-thirds of them essentially in the staggered, more stable position, and you're going to have one-third in this ellipse uh, formation that's not nearly as stable. Now, what that means basically is it's easier to break the bonds between these two carbons and the ellipse formation than the staggered formation. Similarly, let's talk about when we go to the cyclic structures, now, the, this ellipse formation and the staggered formation on the non-cyclic structures, they apply to any linear, uh, any, any linear molecule. So I can talk about propane, butane, pentane, octane. This is you have more, uh, what do you call this, uh, combinations. You can have, you know, the staggered, staggered, elliptical, elliptical, you know, like for the same molecule. Because the molecules are constantly changing and expanding and moving in and out and like you know, constantly swaying. And the only time you can actually isolate, you know, the okay, this is staggered position is you know very very close to absolute zero temperatures where the molecular motion is very very slow. But anyway, without further ado, let's talk about benzene, or not benzene, but uh, cyclopentane or cyclo cyclohexane. Sorry. <laughs> We can also talk about cyclopentane. Uh, I think any organic major in college experiences this when you're taking organic two and you do primarily benzene and cyclic structures like throughout the entire semester. Uh, the art majors and the, the non-science majors think that you're drawing like shapes or something. They think you're doing uh, grade school things. But anyway, the boat formation goes right up there with the uh, ellipse formation. It's the least stable in the sense that the repulsion field of all the electrons is like the same. So this is like a three-dimensional cyclohexane. You can see carbon, 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 carbon. And they call it the boat because it obviously kind of looks like a boat. Now the chair formation looks a little bit less like its name, but it's staggered in the sense that 
I'll draw this right. I'm not really an artist. All right, so you can see the, the little imagination. You can see that that's a chair, sort of. And basically, the cyclohexane is moving between these two uh, formations. And pro you'll see that this is obviously the more stable. Just like, actually, um, you're talking about cis and trans, and you're talking about nucleophilic attack. If you're doing like a cis molecule, sorry, like a dichlorination, say this is ethene, let's say ethene, cis, and then this is trans. This is the more stable than this, obviously, because you can have nucleophilic attack come in here, whereas it's less, you have more of an electron cloud here and there. So it's less, uh, this is more stable than this. It's the same, same idea. The, you think of the staggered, and you think of the chair conformation as being trans almost, because it's like every other, and therefore it's, it's more stable. But anyway, um, I hope this helped a little bit. If you have any questions about like Newman projections or like conformational states, of uh, organic molecules and hopefully we're going to do uh, the fourth installment of organic soon together and if you have any requests for organic please let me know uh, I'd be happy to make a video I've made a couple videos on request for uh, some of the YouTube viewers so thank you for watching and have a good night